what is good raider nation it's your boy raider alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel that being said let's jump right into the topic of this video with the nfl draft being right around the corner for the raiders today i just wanted to talk about another non-quarterback prospect who we could potentially select in the first round at pick number 13. And today I wanted to focus on the cornerback position and touch on one of the most highly rated prospects at this position. And that is cornerback Terion Arnold out of Alabama. Terion Arnold is a talented cornerback who stands at six feet tall, weighs about 190 pounds. And during his time at Alabama, he showcased his exceptional skills on the field Field, showing excellent coverage abilities and just his overall football IQ and athleticism and in 2023 he had 40 solo tackles one forced fumble five interceptions and 12 pass deflections but without further ado I just want to jump into some of the tape to see what he brings and whether or not I think he may be a good fit for us moving forward now here we're going to get him dropping back into zone coverage. Here he does a good job backpedaling and does a good job keeping his eyes on the quarterback. He then notices that the quarterback begins to go on the move and then he comes down and shows off an impressive display of athleticism. Gets vertical right here and is able to swat down the pass. Just impressive play from an athleticism standpoint. Here in this rep, he does a great job in run support. First, he does a good job setting the edge, which then forces the running back to take this to the inside. And then he's able to get in on the tackle and run support. Shows he's able to get physical and he's not afraid of contact in the run game. Just good overall rep by him right there. Here another good play and run support. He shows he is able to bring down the running back in the run game. And once again just shows a willingness to get involved and make plays against the run. Super impressive play here by Terion Arnold. Alabama run man coverage concept. And Arnold is going to have outside leverage which allows the Auburn wide receiver a chance to gain some yards against him across the middle he makes his break inside and what is impressive is just the closing out speed and just the recovery by Arnold right here he's able to track back and gets the pass deflection right there good stuff man coverage once again and they're gonna get his wide receiver on this motion drag concept which forces Arnold to go from one side of the field all the way to the other to try to track him down and he's unable to recover in time and gives up this touchdown pass that is a pretty tough play to make but he does give up the touchdown right there here he's going to get matched up with the receiver in motion once again and he just gets beat on the rep. You can see Arnold here just completely flips his hips anticipating a deep route vertically down the field but instead his receiver cuts to the inside and that creates separation for a big first down. Here we're going to see him lined up in the slot and he's unable to get his hands on the speedy wide receiver off the line which allows him to get just enough separation to get a first down. And this time he's going to be able to make a big play. He gives his receiver about 5 yards of cushion and he has great technique on the route and really has this pass well covered and then he has the speed and makes a great play to come down with a catch. Wasn't an easy one to come down with at all, just a very impressive play for the interception. On this rep, just great technique here on the outside and completely locks up his man and then he's able to swat the pass down. Great rep. Versus LSU, here he lines up man-to-man -man coverage. He's really close and up tight off the line and he does a good job following through out the whole entire rep and then he's able to get physical and fight through the contact and just help bat down this pass. This was a good rep right here and against good competition at that wide receiver spot. Here I just love how he's able to fight through the screen. 
pass and he's able to come up and make the tackle. He has the IQ to immediately recognize the quick screen and then he comes downhill, is able to get physical and most importantly makes the tackle good stuff. Here he has solid coverage in the slot and ultimately he has great instincts to react on the tip pass at the line of scrimmage. He's able to jump in front of his man and come down with the interception. You know, not necessarily a play that he created himself, but he had the awareness and the IQ to react and make the play. Here we got great discipline by him. He starts out in the slot, follows a slot wide receiver until the outside defensive back communicates for him to drop back and guard the underneath route. So just great communication between these two. And once again, I love the closing speed he displays. He's able to come down and make a big hit on the tackle underneath. Lined up in the slot against Malik Neighbors once again. And Neighbors tries to bully him at the point of contact and just kind of like push him off and create enough separation to catch this ball at the sticks and move the chains but Arnold is not having it and he's all over this route and he's able to be all over this which causes the incomplete pass. Once again matched up man to man against neighbors he does have a slight advantage though in this scenario with it being late in the football game and Alabama being up on the scoreboard he plays more conservatively giving him a lot of cushion essentially he wants him to go underneath and here neighbors is going to try to hit him with the out route but Arnold shows great discipline and he's in great position to make a play and this eventually leads to an incomplete pass. You know this is definitely a big part of being a defensive back you got to know situational football you got to play to your leverage to your advantage and he does that perfectly right here here's another great rep of him getting involved in the run game off this jet sweep run he is able to fight through the block and is able to drop his shoulder down and bring him down great stuff Another very impressive rep in man to man coverage, he's able to press him at the line and he's able to blanket him just throughout this entirety of this rep. The wide receiver really had no chance on this rep, great stuff to watch. Here they are going to target him in the back of the end zone and I love his positioning, his overall coverage. He doesn't panic because he has the great position on his man and then after that he's able to make the play, deflect his pass down. Good stuff. You know sometimes you see defensive back panic in that scenario and they give up too much contact and they draw a pass interference but he played this perfectly. Here they're going to test the Alabama secondary on this deep pass and the wide receiver is essentially in double coverage so really the quarterback should not have thrown this but when he does Terry on Arnold is able to track that ball down and make him pay with an easy interception then I love what I see after the catch right here he does a great job of gaining about 40 yards after the catch and puts his team in a great field position off the turnover. Here he's going to get beat on this route to the sideline. He was still in decent position to come down and make the tackle after he gives up the pass. But unfortunately he is unable to wrap him up which leads to an even bigger gain. I know he definitely wishes he had this one back as he typically has shown that he's a pretty solid tackler. But he's got to come down with the tackle right there. Here they're going to target him deep once again and he is in perfect position to defend this pass. Now the wide receiver has a slight advantage. He is slightly taller against him but this does not face Arnold. He does a great job being patient. He's in great position and he does a good job turning his head around last minute tracking the ball and ultimately he's able to swat down the pass. Another great rep. So overall Raider Nation when it comes to Terion Arnold what I saw on tape there really is no major flaws to his game he's a very well rounded polished player at his position he is very athletic he has great closing speed he has shown just great coverage abilities especially in man to man coverage and he also has shown to be an asset in the run game when necessary that's definitely one thing you love to see because some cornerbacks are a liability when it comes to making tackles in the run game he really did not show that overall he's a pretty good 
and solid tackler. And really when I look at his game, I mean, he's a very technically sound player. His ability to flip his hips, just his overall movement as a defensive back looks very fluid. He has great discipline. He has good football IQ. So there definitely is a lot of things that you like to see from him. Now, I don't necessarily see him being like a great ball hawk at the next level, but he definitely can be a very solid number one cornerback at the next level. And really, I think the only knock you could put on a guy like this is that he is slightly undersized. Ideally speaking for a cornerback, I mean ideally you like to see your corners be like 6'1", 6'2". He is slightly undersized, he's only 6 foot, but when I saw him on tape he looked and played like a guy who was taller than 6 foot. But ultimately that will always be a factor to take into consideration at the next level. Will the slight height disadvantage affect him at the next level? Played in Alabama, he played in the SEC against Premier Competition and did pretty well he's able to hold his own so there's no doubt this guy's a very intriguing and interesting prospect and with the Raiders sitting at pick number 13 and with this draft being a high possibility of quarterbacks going early off the board this could really put us in a great position to target a player like this I think more than likely he will be available at 13 and really that just poses the question of whether or not we should draft them at this position. I mean, me personally, I am valuing other positions higher at pick number 13. I still would ideally want us to get a quarterback or an offensive tackle at 13, but I also see the interest of potentially going cornerback. And if we are gonna go cornerback, it may be a good idea to go early and get a guy like this off the board. He's a player that I think his skill sets will translate to the next level. And he's also versatile in the fact that he did play in the slot. I also saw him at times playing safety and he can play on the outside. And just in general, there's a lot to like from him. Very sound when it comes to his technique and his overall coverage. And with the way the Raiders defense currently sits with us potentially having a dominant defensive line next season, this could be a perfect position for a cornerback like him to come in and thrive. Because if we're able to get pressure with four guys on the defensive line, it's just gonna give opposing quarterbacks less time to get the ball out and it'll help our defensive backs have great coverage be able to be more aggressive and ultimately be able to create more turnovers so this is definitely an option to consider but Raider Nation let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below is Terry on Arnold the guy that you would want us to draft at number 13 this year let me know in the comment section down below but with that being said Raider Nation that's all for you guys in today's video anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel with that being said I will see you guys in the next one